Now we're leading into chapter four, the cult's a good soul, or what does it take to manufacture that product? Without knowing what the cost of that product would be, we cannot establish or calculate what is the gross margin. And without knowing the gross margin, we don't know how we can improve the value of that product and how we can control the manufacture of that product. Last year, I worked on a breast manufacturing business. I knew nothing about the industry, but I know one thing, it takes about 30 days to manufacture a dress. What is the clothing and materials that require to make that dress? What is the labor cost behind that dress? And therefore, I can establish cost per dress depending upon the design. In other words, you have to explore each feature, what does it take to manufacture that dress? Therefore, we will follow up with the next two slides, what does it take to make the cost of goods sold? You will see on the bottom of this slide that the cost of goods sold sheet is number four, or the fourth one from the left, of the nine or so-called number of sheets you have to establish in order to make a five-year projection. Even though this sheet is labeled R&D prototype, it is the cost of goods sold, or what does it take to manufacture this prototype or this product. And we will look at this slide or this sheet in order to understand how I broke it down by different kinds of products, what does it take to make a product, in different phases of that product. That way I can establish the gross margin. This sheet demonstrates you can put in various products into establishing what is the cost of goods sold per product. In this case, we are actually showing different phases, different size products, and that way we know exactly what does it take to manufacture this product and how, what will be establishing in the long run the gross margin for each product sold, depending upon the brand, depending upon the size. In this Excel sheet, I highlighted or marked product number one and product number seven, indicating that I will manufacture about seven products in about five years. I also indicate upstairs in the same sheet where these products will be manufactured, what components will be made. That way I also know geographically where the origins of the components would be. And again, what without knowing what the cost of goods sold would be, I cannot establish the gross margin. And I have to monitor every cost component that would take to manufacture the product or otherwise I'll be a mess into establishing gross margins.